Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Amosoft, back to school big sales. Now invite your friends, to enjoy up to 50% off, on products including, Amosoft Video Converter Ultimate, DVD Creator, iTube HD, Video Downloader, iMusic, and more. Simply, type in your friend's email address, you and your friends will all receive the discount, or get 50% off on bundle software. Share more, save more. Visit the link in the description, and check out the back to school offer today. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Techno Text. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. And my duration is 10 seconds longer. Now the first step is to import this video clip into your project. You can download it from the link in the description. Place it onto the timeline. And this is going to be the background for our text animation. Let's add our text now. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Eject from the typing tool, by pressing Ctrl plus Enter and make sure to align your text into the center. Please note, my font size is 105 pixels. You can download this font from the link in the description. Cool. Now we are going to add some animation to it. So make sure you are at the first frame, and then select your text layer. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the 3D scramble in position Z. This is an inbuilt preset of After Effects. You don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it on the text layer, and this is how it going to look now. Cool. Let's make some adjustment to the animation. Press U, to open keyframes. Grab these end keyframes, and place them onto the 6th second position. It will make the animation slower. Now go to the first keyframe, and here we will change the value of these keyframes. Let's change the amount value to negative 100%, and it will create some more movements into the text letters. As you can see, some of my text is visible here, but we don't need to show it right now. So, I am going to change the minimum amount value to 0%, and the text will disappear. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's apply some colors to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the color of it. You can choose any color you want. I am just showing you the way, the destiny is yours. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Select the text layer, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it text comp and then hit OK. Now select this text comp, and then again go to the effects and the presets. This time, search for the shift channel. Apply it onto the layer. We will create three individual color channel layers, to make the RGB split effect. Now rename this text layer as text comp red. Now go to the effects control tab, and here keep red to red and turn off every other color channel. I am turning off green, and the blue channel. Again, select the text layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it green. Make one more duplicate, and rename this layer as the blue. Now select the green layer, and change everything fall off. Except the green, 
change the taken from green, to green. Do the same with this blue layer. Select this layer, and turn off every color channel, except the blue channel. Change the take blue from to blue. Select all three text layers, and now I am going to change the blend mode of these layers. In case your blend mode tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key. Then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as the switches, because we are going to need them. Now change the blend mode to the screen, and this is how the text is going to look now. If you have noticed, the text is looking the same, as we have created in the beginning. For creating the RGB split effect, simply, select any text layer, and use the arrow key, to slightly change the position of the text layer. You should use the minimum movement, not the huge one. Cool. This is looking much better. Now make every layer 3D, by clicking on this cube icon. Now, create a new camera. I am using a 50mm preset. And everything else will remain same. Hit OK, and now we are going to add some movement to our camera. Go to the 7 second, and press P, to open position. Here add a keyframe on it. Now we are going to add the first keyframe. But the problem is, we cannot see anything here. So I am going to add the keyframe on 4th second position. Press C, to get the camera tool. We need to switch with the camera pan or zoom tool. Click and drag your mouse, to zoom in with your camera. And then again press C several times, to get the orbit camera tool. Make the starting point something like this. And if required, make it even closer to the camera. And this is how it looks now. Pretty simple animation. Now grab this keyframe, and place it onto the first frame position. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, select the end keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. In case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's move to the next step. Create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it noise. Make sure to place it on top of all layers, and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the bad TV2 effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, unselect any selected effects. Then I am going to turn off the wave wrap, as well as the noise effect, to get the digital look. I don't want to add the noise for this project. Now click on this cube icon, to make the adjustment layer 3D as well. Perfect. Let's move to the last step. Create a new solid layer. I am calling it letterbox. Make it to the comp size. And choose a black color for it. Place it on top of all layers. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the CC jaws. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the height value to 0%. And change the completion value to 80%. RAM preview this. And our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.